Mon Dieu, Mademoiselle Zoe Delahunty Light. It gives me great pleasure to announce that I, Monsieur Ian Higton, and by mm -hmm. extension us here at Eurogamer, have been sponsored by the wonderful Nacon uh, to show you some Steel Rising. Bonjour, Ian. Bonjour, je m'appelle Ian. Ça va? <laughs> yeah, that's the extent of my French. Je pense que je vais adorer cette jeu. Oh my, yes, I also yeah. like cheese. I said I think that I'm going to enjoy this game. Ah, That's what well, I said. let yeah. me bring up the main menu. Um, <gasps> oh, it's like, it's like revolutionary -y? Is that yeah. a word? Yeah, so... It's like steampunk. Yeah, so you've not played any of this game yet, but... No, I haven't, um, no. I've got to show you my, um, my save before I go anywhere. I currently... Okay have been loving this game, and I've uh -huh. played it for 11 hours and 12 minutes so far. 11 hours? Yes. Holy crap. Uh, you have have played none, uh, so I'm going to talk I you have. through the game and my experiences with it in today's video. But first, I'll give you a bit of a background yes. on the game. This game in. was developed by spiders. Not, spiders? Not, They've got so many legs. Not the bunch of eight-legged insects, no. Oh, okay, the, uh, right. the development studio spiders, you'll be pleased okay, to know. Okay, that, that makes more um, sense. That makes and more Steel sense. Rising is set in Paris in 1789, so the 18th century, during yeah. the French Revolution. Um, and so uh, it's the French Revolution has been suppressed with bloodshed by Louis the Sixteenth and his merciless oh. mechanical army, it so says right. the blood. Right. So we it's play a bit as, of altern alternate history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we play as Aegis, a mysterious automaton masterpiece who must confront the king's army alone to save history in this challenging action RPG. So basically, this is like awesome 18th century French fashion designs mixed with like marvelous mechanical souls-like action. Oh my God, It's uh, how have I not played this yet? It sounds absolutely up my street. Oh, it sounds super up your street. Mm -hmm. um, so let's, without further ado. Adieu. <laughs> let's Let us start step a new in. game. Here we go. So there was an assist mode there as well that you can turn on if you want. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, my God, the fans. She looks deadly. Yes. So there are a few different classes that we'll see in a second when we get to change our, uh, choose our character. But yeah. that is the dancer class, which I've been playing Ooh, as. Oh, really cool. Enjoy. Is that so Marianne show you? Yes, it is. I won't show you the whole of this cutscene because oh, it goes on for a little while. But basically, you know, Marie Antoinette and right her pal here, whose name yeah. is, drum roll, can't oh, remember, she's not going to say, her name is something, the they're, they're trapped, basically, uh -huh. the king has um, the stuck them riot. in, ah, Gabriel de Polignac, basically they've been banished to this castle while the king's mechanical forces burn and ravage Paris. Um, uh, and, uh, I don't think that's a great idea. Not no, really. No, mm -mm. not at all. <gasps> oh my God, is that us? This is, well, this is, could be us. There Holy are multiple shit. different kinds of character creations here when we're customizing Aegis. Uh, so you can have like a gold body. Oh my like God, bronze, she's so freaking cool. Silver, I know, right? <gasps> I went for like a, this kind of like ivory body. But, oh, um, I love you, you know, like a, porcelain a or something. Yeah. Let's. Um, I like that one. Yeah. I like the porcelain. Yeah. Let's okay. Stick with the porcelain. Um, we can also change the different hairstyles. Oh mon dieu! All you know, classic 18th century French, classic French ones. haircuts. Uh, I love the preference? one we started with. I think that's uh, cool. Was that one? Uh, the one next to it that on the one. right. Oh. No, this no, no. One. right, right. That one. Yes. This one. Like okay. One. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at those curls. Yeah. Got at some the back. curls. Okay. And finally, the uh, face. You know, all the makeup Ooh. is done in kind of like that traditional ah. um, French Revolution style makeup with the. Um, oh, I go back to. I like that one. This one? Uh, yes. This one. This She's one. beautiful. No, no, that one. Yes. This one. That one. Okay. So this yeah. is our character. And now we get to choose the class. Because I'm used to playing as the dancer class, I'm going to choose the dancer class. But I was going to say, yeah, have, maybe. yeah, bodyguard. Uh, which has a heavy weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, soldier has a heavy weapon as well. 
uh, alchemist has a light weapon. God, I, I love the fact that the classes are like different, you know. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, like, um, and there's there's a lot of we'll see it in the game, but there's a lot of alchemy, and there's also kind of like Ooh. some dark magic running through it as you well. You know, that's my kind of stuff, Ian. Oh yeah, I honestly I think you'll love this game. Yeah, I should really um, give this a go. So we're gonna pick this one as the dancer. Oh, and she's beautiful. There you go. Aegis will appear. This machine that is now somehow able to speak and understand what we say to it. C'est terrifiant. C'est terrifiant. C'est terrifiant. I, I pronounced it, it wrong. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, all the, um, all the other automatons That's that the king that owns... Uh, yeah. They are kind of like mindless, just kill machines. And, mm -hmm. But Aegis somehow, for some unknown reason, has intelligence and a personality and can learn and can talk, ah. unlike any of the other and automatons. Or automats. Or automats or automats um, that, okay, that makes me a little bit worried for how we were made like that. <laughs> Don't you think, Toto? What do you think? Here we are. The game astarteth. Oh. As you can see... We are now in the grounds of. Can I bring up the map of Paris? The Is map. It uh, it's the grounds of Saint Cloud. Saint Cloud. Saint cool. Saint -Cloud. Um, the map of Paris is, uh, you know, based on 1789 map of Paris. It's and very beautiful. During the game, you'll get to go to lots of different places. Uh, you unlock them as you play through. I've unlocked about five different areas. Five so districts. Far. Cool. Yeah, and you can nice. fast travel between those using a carriage, which we probably Ooh. won't see this playthrough. First of all, we need to get to Paris. The map is so beautiful. I love that it, really it genuinely is. looks hand-drawn. Yeah, and also the, the landscapes are very beautiful as well. I love this kind of like, you know, old school Parisian architecture mixed yeah. with overgrown kind of, almost like a post-apocalyptic kind of overgrown stuff to it. And it's genuinely quite a unique aesthetic, isn't it? Yeah. And as you can see, these automatons, if I can not let it attack me, I don't think it will attack me, actually. This is a training one. Uh, stand still. They're kind of like clockwork beasts. Yeah. Uh, with really ornate machinery. And I rooms. love that they've got, like, really, a uh, really wide hips, because usually with automatons, the way they're designed is really stereotypical, <laughs> but this one is, like, actually unique. Yeah, yeah. Um, and love that. There are... A, a, quite a large variety of automatons. Every area has its own different ones as well. So Love that. There's Love plenty that. to see. Now, uh, first off, this wants to teach me light attacks. And <gasps> heavy I attacks. love your fans so much. They are very nice. Bottom They're left. attached to your arms as well. Yes. Oh my god, that's so. They cool. make some very cool noises when they. It's giving me like. Unsheath. Give me like katana vibes, you know. Yes, yes, katana. I do. She's um, got her. Okay, fans. let me just equip uh, my oil burette. So the oil burette is like your health flask. So is it like WD, not WD40? What is it? It is kind of like WD40. <laughs> yes, no, no, I was thinking of WKD. WD40, <laughs> that's what it is. I'm not sure machines would have run on WKD. <laughs> no, maybe not. In the 17th maybe not. century. Um, also, uh, we've got like a stamina bar, which you need to pay attention to uh, cool. as well. Um, and there's a with each weapon has a different secondary mechanic. Mm -hmm. In for the fan, the secondary mechanic is a block. <gasps> so a nice simple block. Others have ranged attacks or fire effects and things like mm -hmm. that. Uh, but the uh, the fan is a nice kind of beginner. The weapon. fan is such a cool weapon. It's been a long time since I've seen that as an actual weapon in games. Yeah. It's, it's so very unique. cool. Let's see if I can Excellent. do a good block on this. Thing. There you go. Blocked it. Nice. Oh, oh, that wasn't a good block, though. It's fine. As long as you end the fight. Absolutely fine. Yeah. So I'm also on my left-hand side here, uh, your right. I'm earning resource points, 140 you are. of them at the moment. And I've also picked up something called an alchemical capsule. At the moment, I don't need them, but the alchemical capsule acts as like ammunition for your alchemical weapons. All right, let's head yeah, down it's so here. beautiful. I love all the um, overgrown vines and stuff. Yeah, we've got really nice lighting. And, Ooh, very and someone like who wants to stab you in the back. <laughs> yeah, very kind of full forests. And yeah. Uh, very busy locations. 
There's also a diamond on this character, and I'm probably going to kill it before I fill that diamond up, but that diamond is the stagger bar. So oh, cool. Sick. Once it's filled, that'll get staggered, and then you can deliver a really heavy blow to them. And there's also a, a dodge as well, so you can dodge out the way. That's good. You can things. make sure you try and try and not get hit, as yes. always is the aim of most games like this. Exactly. Now, the unique thing here to do with your endurance and your stamina is instead of just mm -hmm. running out of puff uh, like a human would, because we're an automat, we overheat. So I'm right. currently overheating. Mm -hmm. But if I press triangle, I use something called rapid cooling when uh, it gives oh, me Oh, I can hear your little gear there spinning we go, as well. To uh, cool my stamina and kind of refill it up to the point where I press the triangle. But also, you may have noticed a little snowflake icon appeared out above my health there. That's because I used rapid cooling to cool down my overheating. So if mm -hmm. I do that too much, um, the, f the freeze will freeze ages, and I'll get stuck uh -oh. in place until um, the ice melts. You, like, stun yourself. Okay. Yeah. So I just love her weapon so much. The fan is sick. It really is. We can't get through here at the moment. Ooh, I'm excited to, to see what the city looks like, hopefully. Hopefully we can get that far. We Amaze. The city of Paris. We'll yes. try. I'll try and get that far. I think... Okay. Well, hopefully I'll be better than I was before and we'll get there a bit quicker than I did first time. Oh my god, is that like a centipede thing that she's fighting in that image? Um, in the image, yes. There is a, it is a horrible, creepy centipede. They fire things like lightning and fire and mm. you know alchemical stuff so i've immobilized this one now actually and you can see the circle around it so now i can bop oh. it really hard nice and knock it down now just bop like it. many twist uh, it souls like stars game <laughs> pull Smash it, it. Flick it. <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, you can pick up you can search off for extra areas to pick things up uh, including uh, did i get anything essences of spirits which mm -hmm. give you the um the resource it's anima in this game cool anima so i can use i guess that, it's the know. things that have been used to animate the uh the like automatons yes, yes. so again multiple routes i'm gonna go this way first and just see what we can find i love a good maze yeah it's good to smash the barrels because occasionally yep. you'll find goodies in there that was an ordinary oil vial always there. smash the barrels so that it also restores your health but unlike the um, the main ones you get, the uh, ordinary oil vial uh, heals health over time. Right. So let me uh, let me equip the ordinary. Loosen oil up those vial joints. Here. And then if I do it, then you can see I've got over 20 seconds. It will slowly refill Whoa. a portion. I love that we've got like embossed gold on us as well because of the um, like. Petite patina that we picked? Is that the right yeah. one? Yeah, and also if you look, um, just at the base of her spine, there's like a clockwork thing ticking around yeah. as well. There's so cool. much detail to Aegis's, uh, you know, form. It's so can you cool. get like different armor and stuff throughout the game that makes you, you look different? You can get different outfits mm -hmm. that act as armor and they give you things like um, alchemical resistances, so like frost resistance, Ooh. flame resistance and things. So this is uh, the game's version of bonfires. Yep. Vestal. The Vestal. Vestal. Sorry. And if we rest here, it will respawn all the enemies that we fought before. Oh. But we can also upgrade stuff here. Unfortunately, we need a thousand anima essence to upgrade at the moment. We don't have that. So much. we don't have that. We don't. But we also have things called module slots, which Ooh. will give us. Uh, oh, we can put them in our spine. Yes, and they'll, oh they'll equip God, so us cool. with um, what's it called? Those things where you don't need to do anything; they just happen. Uh, buffs? Is that what you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, permanent buffs. buffs that you okay. don't have to activate. Uh, and then there's my weapon, and also the barrette can be upgraded as well, so you mm. can get extra doses or change the amount of health it restores. She's so pretty. She She's really so is. pretty. All right, get her in the light and just uh, <sighs> check out. I love it. Yeah, so freaking cool. It makes so much sense to like design her like that because if she's the bodyguard for the Queen of France and it's during the French Revolution, you obviously want her to look like special. Yes, totally. You know, it's such a cool design. It is. I did a stealth attack on that one then. If you oh, did you? You did it so stealthy, I didn't even notice it. I know. If you sneak mm. up behind one, like I'm doing here, the diamond yeah. will go red and then you can go bonk! 
Oh, sick with your feet. Yeah. And your then feet early, yeah, my little uh, stabbing them with the high heels there. Little booties. Yeah. Uh, on these, on this early first level, you can basically one hit kill people with the stealth. But after a while, it's uh, you know. So it you said damage, you it you said you played this for like eleven hours. How much harder does it get the further into the game you get? That's a really good question, actually, because I, what I will say and what I really appreciate about appreciated about this game is that although it is a Souls-like, it is one of the most accessible Souls-likes I've played. It has oh, a great. really, really good um, gentle learning curve. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, this first area is, is really quite simple to get through, even if, I'd say, even if you were a beginner to the Souls-like genre. Um, mm -hmm. like, I'd kind of say that if you were someone who's always been put off by Souls-like games because of their challenge, but really mm -hmm. wanted to kind of experience them. This is a good one to kind of start with, to kind of practice and to feel, oh, there you go, I froze myself. Um, good job. And, and, you know, feel how they play and get to grips yeah. with their kind of mechanics. Uh, it does get more challenging later on, but also later on, like 11 hours in, I've also upped my skills as well. So I kind yeah. of, you know, um, I'm finding it. Not too challenging, although there was one boss that I got very stuck on and I killed him just before we started this Let's Play. You messaged me on Slack though. and it was like, <laughs> yes. It, um, it sounds like they give you a lot of time to kind of learn the fundamentals then, which is something that, especially if you haven't played any Dark Souls, like you said, can kind of take a while to properly get a grip of. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a few mechanics in this that, you know, it will take a, a while to properly pick up, I think. Like the, yeah. um, you know, just to get into grips with when you're out, out ba overbalancing enemies or staggering them when you're uh, when you're overheating and when's the mm. best time to cool your jets as it were <laughs> easy to learn hard to master yeah i don't even think it's too really hard cool. to master in a way no? i've, I've cool. done some battles where i felt like a complete boss and i'm yeah i'm kind of average at these style of games so this one just made me feel really you know competent and proficient and, uh, proficient and good at these mm -hmm. games which i really enjoyed well i guess most games are a power fantasy aren't they but it's mm. good that they don't let you go too far into the power fantasy and it's still challenging later on because there's always a risk with souls borns that once you get past a, past a certain you know part of the bell curve you just you find everything more or less simple and it takes a good souls mm. game to know exactly when to push you and when to like up the difficulty a bit more. Yeah, totally. I mean, I'm kind of making this look easier than I found it the first time I played it. I still didn't mm -hmm. find it, you know, brutal the first time I played it, but I had died a couple of times by this point. The yeah. Time I played it. What I'm doing now, um, as you can see by my uh, my anima, Ooh, that yes. flame has gone yellow, which means I've got enough to upgrade myself. So yeah. I'm going to quickly pop back to the Vestal and Let's do it. I'm going to upgrade. Let's upgrade my dur durability. Durability. Take a little bit more damage, and uh, also my balance is up a bit, so I won't get knocked over. That's Perfect. Easier. Now, like I said, this game, once you rest in a Vestal, it refreshes all the enemies that you've already fought. What yep. is cool with this game, and um, also helps with the challenge, is that the enemies in some Souls-like games, you'll run past an enemy and they will chase you relentlessly and then you'll end yep. up having to fight like a million enemies that are too hard to defeat. But in this game, if you do die and you're like, oh no, I've got to retrace my steps, you can actually run past the enemies quite easily and they will give up chase after all. Oh, so, cool. Um, you know, if you're worried about having to redo bits over and over again, uh, you actually, that's optional. You can just run past them uh, cool. if you want. Nice. But obviously, it's not wise to re run past them all the time because you need to earn the anima essence in order to get strong enough to yes. actually defeat some of the harder enemies. In order so to look get at this strong. open area here. We've got oh, a few things cool. to see in this open area. There's a bag hanging from that tree, yeah. um, which hides a secret item. There's also a granite cobblestone, which I picked up. You can use them to throw and distract enemies or lure them towards you, so you don't cool. fight more than one enemy at a time. There's also this chest here, which may have, if I can uh, hold down triangle for long enough, may have some clothes in it. It hasn't, it's got a module in it. So we'll, we'll equip that in a second. I just, I even appreciate how detailed the chests are. Like they've got, um, 
They've got a like interior fabric as well. If mm. you look into them. Yeah, some the of them have really funky unlocking gosh. mechanisms as well. Ooh, I saw one that you the first one you opened had things that went like. Pss, pss, yeah, which yeah. Is very cool. It goes. Pss, 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 like I just, I just, I, I appreciate a good chest unlocking animation. Yeah. If you're gonna be seeing it like hundred billion times, you want it to be a good animation. You want just it so to it be doesn't. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I've put the longevity module in, which gives me more health. Uh, nice. I've swapped it for the ventilation module. The ventilation module would have reduced the amount of frost damage I got from rapid cooling. Mm -hmm. um, so I, d I won't equip any grenades yet, but you can grab grenades. And then if I hit this sack, Ooh, what it comes out of that? A flame resistance vial. So again, you've nice. got resistance potions you can drink and stuff. Now I and think that's we our got first dead human. Yeah, oh, there's, there's a... We'll see oh, many of those as we go, yeah. that's for sure. The monsters, the automats have completely destroyed uh, Paris and the uh -oh. inhabitants. Now this corruption that we're seeing in the air signifies the fact that there is a very strong enemy in here. Okay, oh god, like the bodies signify that as well. Yeah, I'm going to try and kill this little secret hiding one first that kept getting me oh, when god. I first played it. Uh, it's so here it's it is. really hidden. Yeah, so the unstable Lancer is the big one i got to defeat. I'm going to oh, try and do big. some dodges away from its Lance. So oh, I that's can also like, block as well, of course. That's a way to signify that, like, instead of frog doors, you've got kind of like the whole world becomes foggy, so you can tell when you're approaching one. Yes, and that's in cool. this fight, not, not in every fight, but in this fight, you can actually run away. It doesn't block you in. You oh, can, can run you? away. Cool. And, um, recuperate and trade in your souls so you don't lose them completely. Ooh. Ooh. Right, I'm gonna pop an ordinary vial. Oh my god, this, I, I, I'm gonna stop playing this after we finish this. I love the design of literally everything I've seen so far. <laughs> it's like, wonderful, is that, isn't it? Does that Lancer have a sun as its face? Like it's got rays sticking it has, out. I think it's holding a weird s statue face. A lot of the, oh. the automats have like statues uh kind of statue faces some of them have like yeah. cherub faces and things mm -hmm. this, it is I'm, there's something so twisted about like you design this security robot to have a cherub face so it doesn't look scary when it can totally crush you with its hands yeah. like it's such a a dichotomy oh god no i don't know if i'm gonna come on in you got this, this oh okay. what? I'm gonna have to pop another ordinary vial because I'm. Ow! Oh, he's got a range attack as well. Oh my god. Oh, he got me! Oh! But well, that's our first death though. That's pretty. Yeah. Oh, she's broken! Aegis is broken. Oh, so, dear. what I'll do now we've got. We've refreshed our oil barrettes and stuff, but now mm. I'm going to um, also. Now it's grenade time. Put some grenades in this yeah. time. Yeah! And again, like I mentioned earlier, for the sake of brevity i could just leg it past all these enemies i mean very thoughtful of them to include this mechanic for let's plays just yeah. very a lot of foresight there yes so would you say that what's the storytelling like in this is it kind of like cut scenes or is it more like soulsborne games where it's kind of like all about exploring to try and put it together yourself so you will find notes lying around mm -hmm. that fill in fill you in with some of the story beats but mm -hmm. um, a lot of the majority of the story is told through cutscenes. You'll meet okay. a lot of characters from, you know, the, the famous from the French Revolutionary times. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know my history very well. Do um, you meet Robespierre? I think he's one of them. Yes, I definitely mean that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> good. Excellent. Well, I've already lost some health, which isn't good. Yes, um, I'll sit you down and I'll do like a big dump on you about uh, <laughs> Will you? at some point. <laughs> about oh, history, really? Ian. Oh, okay. I'll excrete history towards <laughs> you. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> we got to clarify things quite a lot. Yes. God, right. even the way it gets up is like oh. unnerving. Yeah, I don't want to fight both of them at the same time. I don't. Oh. Is it going to follow me out? Maybe I can. Here we go. Yeah, Just pull it a little bit. Yeah. That's the thing is, like, malfunctioning robots are essentially zombies, just, like, with a metallic sheen on them. It's a very yeah. similar principle, so I'm still... I find them just as terrifying as the undead and zombies. Mm. Oh. Wow, this is... 
Okay, that was nice. one explosive grenade. There's a flame grenade. Oh, I missed it. Dodged it. Oh. Naughty Lancer. Absolutely. Ooh. Hold me closer, massive Ooh. Lancer. Yeah, let's get some Elton in here. Elton will help. I want to oh. yeah, try it. and stagger Almost it. Hard. There we go. Oh, damn it. It staggered. It did not last long. long enough. Kind of frozen myself. Let's heal. Am I out? I'm complete. Oh, there's a flame grenade. Have some of that. I appreciate how quick the animations are for you to like heal up and to get rid of your freeze and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty awesome that Aegis like pulls these little potions basically out of her back. Abdomen, yeah. Well, because she's a, she's a automaton. She doesn't have to yeah. worry about joints or anything. No. She Pesky comes enough. with built-in pockets. She does. Oh, I'm very Oh, if only. Dodging. I mean, to be fair, you know, all of us come with a built-in pocket. It's just about how... <laughs> <laughs> How you use that to use it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on, you. Oh, so oh, close. They're Careful. ganging up on me, Zoe. Don't get greedy, don't get greedy, don't get greedy. Do I have it? I don't have any other. You are slowly regenerating health, though. Just don't get greedy. <laughs> so I'm dodging as oh. well. But the dodging... Oh, he's not, the oh dodging, my god, you're not gone! No, the dodging takes down stamina as well. So right. you've really got to um, balance your combat and dodging. So now I've yeah. killed that automat. Uh, that has unlocked a vestule for nice. me. Sit down. Sit down. And I've also Don't got myself a module key. So... Using the module key inside the vestibule, I should be able to unlock a second slot mm. in Aegis' spine. Spine. Uh, unlock some it. vertebrae. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, so module slots, one key to unlock. There we go. So we now mm. have a secondary. Uh, oh, cool. Slot. So you could, it's like you have more buffs you can just give to yourself if you unlock yeah, more so spiny bits. Now I can pop that efficient ventilation module in there. Now we Both. Two. Spoilt for choice. Um, also, while I'm in equipment, because I don't have enough anima to level up yet, but uh -huh. if I pop these three, then I should now have enough to upgrade a new level. And I think maybe let's upgrade our physical damage. Yes. Do a bit more damage. I'm all about that damage. And I yeah. feel like upgrading damage and health are two sides of the same coin. Like, you either upgrade damage so you kill things faster, or you upgrade your health so you die slower. You it's, know, like it, yeah, it always feels like- really hard choice you have to make yeah. in most games. Damage or health, damage or health. I'm unashamed to say I always go for damage because <laughs> I just I just like killing things. Better. I'm quite like OCD about it. I, I tend to, well, actually that's not true. I normally, normally tend to try and make everything quite even. But oh, in my okay. playthrough, I've gone heavy on the dancer's agility because the, the agility also affects power. And mm -hmm. I figure because my Aegis character is a dancer, being well. agile would be the best way. This is the chest with the cool unlock. Yeah, mechanic. it's got the... <laughs> there you go. I love a good chest opening. And Sick. Ah, right. Okay, so this Ooh, is where things get very cool. Now, Aegis can have two weapons. Uh-huh. Um, Throughout the game, you get loads of different weapons with like alchemical uh, characteristics. This musket is a ranged weapon. It has frost on it, uh, frost damage, but you can get things like mallets with fire damage and things. So you can swap them around. Nice. Um, but I really like the combo of fans and musket because um, then I can attack from, a ra from range, mm -hmm. weaken them and maybe run in with the fan and the best thing about yes. the musket if I switch to the musket is that because it has frost power mm -hmm. I can do oh I'm not in close enough range there oh, I can, can give big. them frost damage freeze nice. them into place and then batter them mm. to the ground while Automat they are frozen Automat sorbet yeah. um, Automat sorbet Automat sorbet, indeed. Automat. <laughs> He's got a sore butt now. Um, also, I, this little golden thing on my right Ooh. here is yeah. a, a thing for a, a tool you pick up later in the game that you can use to hook up and 
jump onto it. So I, cool. it, it, there's like Metroidvania style elements where you unlock different items that allow you to come back to areas you've been to before cool. and then get to different, either have shortcuts or find secret areas that you couldn't find before. Sick. I love it's that tantalizing glimpse of somewhere where you really want to go, but you just can't yet, you know? Yeah. So this is blocked. I've not been in that area yet. Oh, God, I there's don't... something big in the distance. Yeah. You see that? It's a big yeah, chonker. A... Chonky boy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've fought one of them before. Um, right. Where the, well, there's there's a couple of ways to go. Let's, let's go deal this with way. this. I wonder if this fence. is based on a, a real place. I'm, I assume it is, but I'm not sure. Uh, like the grounds I, and stuff. You I know. believe so. Most of the other yeah. places in France, uh, in the map in this game, are basic. Because there's like the Louvre. The Louvre? Louvre? Uh, Louvre. Louvre. Yeah. The Louvre. And the Champs Elysees. I haven't seen the Champs Elysees yet. There's Luxembourg mm. as well. I oh, here's one of these. Oh, it's like a Lamia. Cool. Breathes fire. Fire damage Sick. in this game is nasty because it just yeah. completely drains your health. I oh, guess it kind of melts you, doesn't it? Yeah. Sure cool. I love the fact that they've obviously gone with mythical, like, Greek inspiration because you've got the Vestal Virgins and you've got the Lamia thing. Like, it feels like, it feels very natural in the time period to choose that kind of inspiration of how the automats would have looked. I mean, that's, I didn't know any of that. Oh, that's okay, nice to right. know. Well, <laughs> it's a Greek revival. It just feels like it's good, good aesthetics. Right. I'm all about that aesthetic, Ian. Okay, I know nothing of that aesthetic. I just thought the aesthetic was cool. Yeah, it's cool. Wait, could I unlock that door down there? Or was this the that one? place to go? Yeah. Uh, so what, we, what our goal here at the moment to do is to get to the um, the river so we can sail to the main Into part Paris. Of Paris. Yes. Um, but that was locked. That door. So we need. Do to you know in the French Revolution the um, the group of you know discontented civilians, rightly so, actually made their way into the Paris into the. Um, palace where Marie Antoinette and her children were and like were in the same room with her huh. like they were right up close to her and it's I think from what I've read at that point there was a real like she could have absolutely been like torn apart by the mob but they just didn't they didn't you know yeah didn't go that far which is obviously a good oh, thing yeah in front of her kids as well maybe not yeah yoink nemesis claws. nemesis claws I'll show you these Ooh. but I'm gonna stick no, that's fine. With the fan, because I'm good <gasps> at that. But um, they, the Nemesis Claws are a bit more of a... They're still a quick weapon. But they're very stabby. They um, are very stabby. They're pretty cool. I, I will admit, I do think the fans are cooler. I yeah. love... Yeah. That's, fans are um, sick. The fans are my... Pref like I said, the fans and the, the musket are my preferred ones. But I have had an experiment with a few. There's a really cool weapon. It's a heavy weapon that looks like a giant clock. And it gives fire damage as its special um, attack. Tick tock, idiots. <laughs> yeah. Kesha would be so proud. Tick tock, indeed. All, the cool, all the cool automats have tick tock nowadays. If they do. <laughs> is, um, is there full damage in this, by the way? There is full damage, yes. It's okay. You've got to be a little bit careful. I keep thinking those Vestals are going to like come to life or something. Like They look so... Just ready to swing me with that lantern. They are worryingly creepy at times. Yeah. Okay, but we can upgrade again, can we? Let's do yes. it. Yes. Uh, let's do agility. Let's get yeah. Aegis' agility up a bit. So what do you think about in terms of replayability? Like, would you want to try the other classes, do you think, if you gave this another go from the start? Yeah, I, I would definitely like to try out the other classes. I haven't completed this game yet, so I don't know as a fact whether yeah. there's like a new game plus or anything oh yeah that's a good point yeah. you potentially see i froze that one um, Snaky. could potentially if there is a new game plus start again with a different class but, yeah um, it would be quite so, nice to try out the different play styles but definitely yeah but it sounds like you're already comfortable with the dancer is there mm. how far through the game do you think you are at the moment if you're like 12 11 hours in is that like half the game or like three I quarters think, I, I actually think the game is might be quite massive <laughs> oh really? Yeah, like uh -oh. there's, I had a look at the trophies just to see how I was doing. And yeah. I've 
really only unlocked, I think, about six of them. Oh, man. Um, out of... And out of 60. And there's so oh many like, little side quests and hints at characters I've not met yet. Cool. So it's a really... It is a nice big game. You're definitely going to get your money's worth out of it. I love a dense game. When it's... Being big just isn't it anymore. You, if you're big, you need to have that space filled with stuff. Like, it's so just boring otherwise. You're just running around all these open spaces with, like, nothing to actually mm. give them life. So I'm glad that there sounds like there's that much to do in them. Yeah, there's plenty to do in this one. Um, and, uh, yeah, even in your first playthrough, uh, the areas do have a, a slight bit of replayability due to the fact that, you know, you, you have the chance to unlock new items that will get you to... Mm -hmm. you know, newer places yeah uh, so do the i'm assuming the enemies don't scale with you and they stay the same level as they always were when correct. you backtrack and stuff yeah okay. if i backtrack to this area then i would you'd be able um, to like cough them and they'd fall over i'm gonna i'm not gonna go over here just yet because this is the end of this area but ah. if i examine this gate here you see it says you need a tool to break this. So, tool. Um, I, I Let's ring up one of my exes and we can ask them <laughs> to come and smash it. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, yeah, so that will be a, a way when I come back here at a later date to shortcut. I love your sneak attack. Like, why would you make the sneak attack something that an ordinary human to do could do? Make it like a ridiculous heel kick that only an yes. automaton with its like super light could do. I know, right? Most stealth moves are just like, you know, sneak up behind someone and slit their throat. Yeah. This is like a really fancy acrobatic punt up the arse. Have Ooh. some heel, idiot. That's so I've is. got a thing that will improve the oil barrette. Mm. Um, so it's I'm more gonna WD go 40 back in, yeah. to the, uh, the vestal in a mm. second. I just want to clear out this area and make sure I've got all the loot because uh, I do love collecting loot. He does. Finding all the chests. So have you got like a favourite enemy you like to fight in? This is their one that you really enjoy coming up against. Or one that's just got like a cool move. Wow, <laughs> surprise <laughs> enemy! Oh no! <laughs> I got surprised and burnt it there. <laughs> oh, I was... Okay, well I don't think that's your favourite enemy, that's for no, sure. No, that was such a cruel a cruel loot trap. They, but I mean, they that's played a soul's on my weaknesses. The loot, Zoe. <laughs> they knew they were just um, what's it called? They were ex. They were expecting me. <laughs> were expecting oh my god! It jumps out from group. the hay as well. Yeah. Hey. Thankfully Hi. though, I just been able to run back, grab those. Now um, I'm going to run back to the vestibule, and I'm going to upgrade our oil barrette, as it were. Yeah, Boink. get in the vessel and then they can't get you. You're in the safety cage. Okay, so correct. Here we go. So I can now up the doses from two to three, which is going to cool. be very useful because we're about to meet the boss. What else <gasps> can I upgrade? The boss. Can I also upgrade a weapon? Oh, like Falchion and Saber. Cool. Yeah. Have I got another key? Oh, I do have another. So Ooh, there we go. I've unlocked Treat another yourself. slot, but I don't think I have another module. I don't. I'm sure you'll find one if you beat if you beat the boss. When you beat the boss, you'll be able yeah. to. Uh, yeah. That's true. Oh, also, cool! Do they recap all the? Yes. Dialogue? If you love the lore of video games and things like that, who uh, would oops, love that? You have. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Um, you have. Like at the moment, I found one note, but on my 11-hour playthrough, I've got loads of notes. Nice. And then there's a big codex which gives you. Gives you backgrounds to look all that all meat the characters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I want to carve into that. Yeah, and I want to like get that viscera all over my face and just oh get my into gosh. it. Yeah, yeah, so much meaty lore. That's really cool, though. I love that it's actually got a dedicated place for like lore because in so many of these kinds of games, because it's not all like spelt out for you, it's really useful to have a bit where you can just have all your like, you know, stuff especially mm. organized. That's cool. Totally. Okay, boss time. Bus time. Oh, boss, 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 boss. That's the collectible there. Fulmination resistance. Fulmination. Hold on, though. Hold on. I've just thought. Yeah. Before we go and see the boss, I may You're be gonna able go to level up yourself. again. How much do... No, I don't have enough. Let's, okay. let's, let's get an... Oh, and also I've missed some magic in that sack up there. 
is a magic. Is a magic sack. Yeah, that's. Oh, I see. This is what you're saying. The stealth attack doesn't one-shot these ones because they're. Yeah, it's a little bit stronger now. So, let's. Oh, I, I biffed the jump there. There we go. And a hook. Uh, get that magical sack. Fulmination, resistance, vile. So what's fulmination? What does fulmination that mean? is fancy word for lightning. So any lightning oh, attacks okay, right. uh, you might come across, that's how to uh, resist them. Mm. Um, so we still don't. We're still just under the amount needed. How much more do you need? Probably only need to kill one more enemy. I'm oh, hoping this one doesn't see me. Careful! Yeah, we've got enough. Okay, let's leg it. Leg it. Quick, 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 quick. Sorry, Lancer. And then, if I do die now, it means, you know, less chance of me losing. All your stuff. Any, yeah. Uh, any stuff. So, upgrade. Um, anything you fancy upgrading? Um, What's engineering? What's that? Engineering is for things like affliction and loot. You know, I think it's kind of like armor. luck, I think. It's got, it does armor as well. We Maybe that? affliction then, yeah. Yeah. Give you a little bit more armor. Engineering, nice. there we go. All right, now let's run straight to the boss fight. Yeah. Let's see if we can get past it. Let's and take get ourselves boss. to Paris. Paris, to Paris. Allons-y. Uh, That's... De merde. Ian, that's a <laughs> let's go in French. Yes, Allons indeed. Allons-y. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We got a little cutscene. Cutscene. Everything's fine, I guess. Don't worry about it. We're just going to get this on a boat will and take sail me to on. Paris. This boat will take me to Paris. Oh, and because she's an automaton, her, her like lips don't move. It just goes up and down. Yeah. She's got a very... Uh, Kind of deadpan robotic voice. Ah, oh, it's not Very as simple as, as we were hoping. Oh, god damn it! Oops. I could not have anticipated this. Mon dieu! Mon dieu, indeed. Oh, I don't know boy. that. Ooh, it doesn't pause the game. Oh, oh, it pause it! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to try and equip a, a, um, a lightning, a fulmination resistance, but. God! I've kind of. That's out the window oh, now. God. All right, let's try using Big. my frost weapon against this thing. Oh, my oh, frost is job. super powerful against, against this Against lightning, boss. yeah. I guess lightning is more susceptible to frost. Yeah, so look at this. Absolutely yeah. Woo. battering God. this robot. So this is, this. I might make short work of this fight by Ooh. charging up my gun to max, blowing its head off, Don't speak freezing too soon. it into an ice cube, and then wailing mm. on it. Yeah. yeah. Kicking it in the, in the butt, except it doesn't have a butt. Kick it in the gears. Uh, in the gears, yeah. <laughs> Get your feet all up in them gears. So I'm currently oh. using um, oh crap. Oh, I'm dear. currently using heavy attack to do that big explosion uh -huh. um, of ice, um, and that uses up two of the alchemical capsules. Um, a so light a attack boy. uses up one alchemical capsule, and you can see them going down on the left-hand side of the screen, yes. those little yes, blue yes, dots. Yes, 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 I see. And now he's frozen again. They charge up then over time. It's like reloading almost, isn't it? Yeah, and the um, the lightning Ooh. damage that I've got at the moment means I get extra hurt. Careful, yeah, you are definitely getting damage. extra hurt. Oof. No, absolutely what? not, monsieur. No, not. C'est pas possible. Yes, fuck it up. There we go. Come on, you little petit le petit flou. Maria, Maria, yeah. le automat. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, and there nice. you go. I got a grade two stable charging module and a Ooh. module key Perfect. to use um, to upgrade the modules to level two. I actually mm -hmm. need three keys, so I right. need to ch three keys to change a level one to a level two slot. So cool. I can't really use cool, them cool, at cool. the moment, but what I can do, now that battle is over, is smash some... Smash some things. Smash some barrels. Take out your excess energy, get rid of that excess adrenaline. Indeed. Ooh, I'm, heat I'm heating up all this sprinting. <gasps> heating up! 
Hot stuff. Yeah, you made, you made relatively short work of that boss. Good job. Um, I did, but only because I knew how to fight it. Oh, that's fine. It took me fine. a couple of goes the first time. I mean, is um, that is that not Soulsborne in a nutshell, though? Yes. You know, really you is, learn. Yeah. You just... yeah, this game does a. Re it, it makes you feel like you're learning and you know, benefiting from previous mm -hmm. fights with next fights, if you see what I mean. Like, yeah. So it's um, and being able to the getting the balance to to between using the gun and then swapping to the fans for you know, mm -hmm. beat downs takes a, a, a little bit of practice, but. I'm pretty Worth proficient it. at it now. Yeah. All right, let's travel. Let's go Come to on Paris. Out. Paris. Um, if you go in the water, by the way, instant death. Yeah, they just I, I cannot swim. <laughs> I wonder why that could possibly be. Yeah. I wonder why. I did test it out for science. <laughs> for science. And or it's not just dub. It's like going into fire to make sure it can hurt you. Like you mm. just need to know. Oh God, that's a lot of dead horses. Yeah. All the yeah. king's horses and all the king's men well, fell to the ground and didn't get up again. No, they did not. They just no, lay they there not. and let the maggots feast on them. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. And we're going to, like, from now on, it's death and destruction everywhere. Perfect. You'll find Excellent. pockets of survivors hiding in buildings that you can talk to through doors and stuff. But in general, it's um, it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty grim yeah. out there. Oh. Pabien. Yeah. Now, to get to the city, we first have to make it through uh, this village, which is mm -hmm. completely overgrown and broken. Quite and beautiful, though. Yeah, very beautiful yeah. in its dilapidation. Yeah, uh, it's decay. But this, this little area teaches you a lot about how the levels, just like Souls likes games, how the levels kind of like interlink. So you'll go up mm -hmm. one route, fight some people, and then it'll unlock a shortcut. So the next Poor time you, you level up, you can go there. I'll show nice. you a little bit around here before we end this Let's Play, but I won't show yeah. you too much more because I don't want to. I don't want to do too many spoilers because this game. Yeah, definitely. Is um, super, you know, super fun to discover all the areas in. But for sure. Do I? What can and I explore upgrade? for yourself? Uh, I've got one more. C here we go. I'll, I'll unlock the final module slot. I don't there think I've got anything I can um, put in it. Let's have a look. Modules. I'm sure you will in due time. No, I've got a grade two one, but I need need to use more stuff for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do have some new outfits though. I've got a <gasps> outfits. Cap, which oh, gives me yeah. flame resistance, lightning resistance, and a bit of extra balance. Hell and yeah. a new jacket, a muscadine coat. Oh, that's fancy. Sick. Look yeah. At that. So fancy yeah, again, lady. all the outfits, very, loads of flourish and fanciness yeah. to the outfits. Uh, really Look, I love some good fashion in any video yeah. game, so thoroughly into this. And these are functional and fashionable as well. Yeah, <laughs> functional and fashionable. F and F, fit and yeah. flirty and Indeed. functional. Indeed. Yeah. Fit and flirty and ready for some Able fulmination. Fulmination. <laughs> <laughs> Fit, flirty, and ready to fulminate. Indeed. Oh, dear. You naughty, naughty, naughty. Come on, stagger him. He died anyway. That's it. Well, I mean, you know, all's well that ends well. Indeed. Right, before we end up, let's just show you one Make of the... Tall. There's a new enemy type that appears <gasps> in a second. Yes, please. That, um, not too strong, but can be a right pain in the butt. Ooh. And it is... The Robo Dogs. <gasps> no! And they tend to attack in packs. No! Look at these the dogs. Robo Puppies. Yeah, they are very swift. And some of them, oh. not these ones, but later on, some of them have like fire damage and things. So they'll gang up on you and set you on fire and swipe at you. You know, at least at least they don't let out that horrible, sad yelp when they die. It's the only good thing about. No, that's dogs. true. They just. They look They're almost like big rats, almost, with them big tails. They are. Maybe they are. Hang on, rats. are they not rats? Maybe they are rats. They look like rats. They're, They're big rats. rats. <gasps> I've, wow. <laughs> this has been a learning experience for me now, because I thought they were rats for the oh my entire you thought they were dogs, dogs, even. Don't try and rewrite <laughs> history, and come on. Thank you for teaching me the difference between rats and dogs. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm privileged Sorry. that I was the first one to do that in your life. Yeah, well, so yeah. you obviously know that I'm a big fan of this game. What do you think of it from what I've shown you? I think it looks sick. I'm genuinely going to download it and give it a go. Like, I just, as much as for wanting to unlock the fashion as wanting to see more of 
like an alternate history Paris and the French Revolution. It's mm-hmm. taking all of my like history, fashion, great combat and aesthetic vibe. So I'm definitely going to give this a definitely. go. I love well, I've this. got great news for you. Um, the lovely people at Nacon gave me a second code. <gasps> so I'll give that to you and you can download Fem-pour. that as soon as we stop recording. For, pour oh, vous. Merci. Pour vous. Merci so, yeah. beaucoup. Merci beaucoup to yeah. Nacon as well for um, allowing us early access to this game and uh, sponsoring this Let's Play. It's been uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've loved chatting about this yeah. game uh, because yeah, I've I've really I've really enjoyed sinking my teeth into it, and it's been I've been playing it most evenings. So yeah, oh it's a really God. good one. Well, that's a testament. And, yeah, I can definitely recommend it if you like souls likes but also if you've always wanted to try a souls like but they've always been a bit too tough this one goes a little bit more gentle on you as well so very good so yeah thank you so much everybody for watching do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video we've got almost daily videos about video games here on this channel and that means plenty more video content to look forward to in the future plenty right zoe Oh, yep. go. I'm, I need to go and continue playing this game now. Oh, go okay. Shall I just shall I go? Yeah, okay, cool. Bye, on. everyone. Leave, leave Bye. Me. Leave me to See France. Ya. It's been Bye. nice, everyone. Bye. 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 All right. Come on, you.